Hello, and welcome to Rhymes Corner. I know that I haven't made a video on my personal YouTube channel or on Cup of Squirrel for a really long time, and I knew that if I wanted to make more videos for my channel and for Cup of Squirrel that I would have to do a video like this. Cup of Squirrel is my closest group of friends and will always be my closest group of friends. We still see each other uh, mostly. We're just playing D&D &D these days, so we haven't really done anything cosplay related outside of going to Yomacon or anime conventions. This is my video coming out publicly as transgender on YouTube. I've already come out on Instagram to my close personal friends and on Facebook at the workplace to my family. So this is kind of the last piece of that puzzle fitting into place. I identify as male. I use male pronouns, he, him. I came out really recently, it was only last year, that I finally was able to come out to myself and to my family and friends, and then more publicly as well. I started having gender dysphoria when I was 15, and it's taken me a literal decade to accept that I'm transgender and to be able to actually acknowledge it and then come out. It's sort of hard to encapsulate one's entire gender experience in one video without talking about really personal stuff. I know that I am not the only transgender person on YouTube. There are a million other videos like this. There are a million other trans cosplayers, which is wonderful. I just know that I've had people message me on Instagram and say how important it's been to them knowing that I'm trans. I didn't grow up knowing that I was transgender. I didn't have any sort of uh, knowledge, I guess, of gender or gender identity until I was in middle school. I'm not sure if it was just childhood depression, because I have depression now as an adult, and I'm pretty sure I had depression as a child. I felt like I would not live past the age of 16. Don't know why that is. I grew up in a great home with loving parents. There's really no explanation as to why I felt that way. I just did. And I, I've heard other trans people say something similar, too. I just didn't really feel like I had a future, I couldn't imagine myself getting married, having a job, owning a house, any of that. When I was starting to question my gender identity, there wasn't a whole lot of information out there about transgender people. Being trans wasn't a household sort of term. I remember Googling, just going to Google, typing in, I'm a girl but I feel like I'm supposed to be a boy, that sort of thing. And every hit that I got was just, you're a tomboy. It's a phase. You'll grow out of it. You just wish that you were like your guy friends. I wasn't a tomboy either, so I was really confused as to why I felt like I was supposed to be a boy, or I felt like I was, was a boy. And so I really tried to fight back hard against that, because everything was telling me that it was a phase, that I would grow up and get over it. The first transgender person that I ever knew of was Twin Fools, who is uh, part of Fighting Dreamers Pro on YouTube and he posted his video coming out as being transgender. I had never heard of being trans before. Seeing his video made me feel comforted because I knew I wasn't the only person out there feeling this way, but it also terrified me because everything that he was saying, I knew that that's how I felt and I didn't want to feel that way. And so I tried to deny it to myself. I would always get lots of comments from people, are you a boy or a girl? That's a girl, that's a boy. And it always really made me sad because I felt like I had to answer that I was a girl. I didn't really understand why none of my other friends seemed to feel that way. Everyone else was like, ah ha ha, it's so funny. We fooled them like they think we're boys. Uh, to me, it didn't feel that way. It felt like people weren't really seeing me. It didn't help that at the time I was also going through a uh, sexuality crisis as well. So I was having gender identity and sexuality problems in my head at the same time, which was very confusing, where I realized that I was bisexual. To me, being bisexual is being attracted to people of two or more genders. So I was struggling coming to terms with that, as well as feeling like there was something very wrong with me for feeling like my gender identity didn't match up with my body. I didn't even come out as being bi until I was in college. So my second year of college, I went through a really uh, difficult breakup with someone that I loved, and at that point I didn't really care anymore. Who knew? Coming out as being bi went actually really well with my family, and it went really well with my friends too. I think because they knew how important it was and how real it was, but I was very fortunate to be accepted by my family and my friends as well. In college, I also tried really hard to fight back 
against my gender issues. So I really like dug my heels in trying to grow out my hair longer, to do my makeup, to get more interested in that, to wear more effeminate clothing and to not really give in, I guess. Sort of accepting my lot in life that people were always going to look at me and see a woman. So I found female role models who are still my role models to this day. And I tried to model myself after those people. I tried to be like them and it didn't work. Eventually, I allowed myself to cut my hair short. I allowed myself to wear my binder more often to see if that made me feel better, and it did. It helped a lot to present more as I felt like I wanted to, and I decided to go see a gender therapist. By the time I was already starting to explore my gender identity, I was already like, well, I've moved out of my parents' house. Uh, I think I graduated college already. In my mind, I was always trying to rationalize why why I felt that way, and it was really important to me to understand the why. I was putting my entire life on hold because I didn't want to go out and talk to people. I didn't want to introduce myself to people with my, my birth name because it was a female name. I didn't want people to hear my voice. I didn't want people to see me and see a woman. And I didn't know why that was because I'm a feminist. And I felt like I was betraying women by feeling like I wasn't one of them. Finally, I had the realization that the why, why I felt that way was not important. I realized that I didn't want to go the rest of my life because I was probably, at this point, I realized that I, it's very possible that I was going to live the rest of my life and that I didn't want to live my life with people not knowing who I am. And finally, I felt excited about the possibility of actually trying to achieve my goals. Because before, I sort of anguished over the fact that if I were to make a film or I were to act in something or anything like that, that it wouldn't be the name that I wanted people to see. That I wouldn't be seen as the person that I felt like I was. And that was so painful to me that I didn't even want to try anymore. I came out to my girlfriend, who was really, really supportive. She had always been supportive of all of my ups and downs about gender identity, never pushed me any sort of way. I think my girlfriend was worried that I would never come to that conclusion because I would just keep beating myself up and not actually realize what was going to make me happiest. I came out to my sister and she was really supportive as well. And so then I went and I came out to my close friends, everyone at Comfort Squirrel, who was unbelievably supportive, even though I knew I wasn't like actually afraid to come out to them because I knew that they would be supportive no matter what. And that was the strength that I needed to come out to my parents. Coming out to my parents was the most difficult thing I've ever done and will probably always be the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. At this point in my life, I don't really care how many people dislike the fact that I'm trans because honestly, life is too short for me to have any sort of regrets about it. I don't regret it, actually. I'm a lot happier in myself and I feel a lot more true to myself than I ever have in my entire life at the age of 26. So if you feel like you're too old to come out, it's not true at all. There's always time for you to still come to terms with who you are. It took me an entire decade. There's a quote from Ian McKellen where he says that he's never met a single person who regretted coming out, whether it's as, as queer or transgender, you know, apply that as you will. I have not regretted it at all. I've sometimes wondered, what the hell am I doing? I can't believe I'm doing this, what have I done? But not in the way that I regret it, because I don't. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. Hopefully I'll be making more Rhymes Corner videos, and I'd really like to start posting more stuff on YouTube, just because I really, I miss creating in that way. If you're interested in following more of my everyday life stuff, I still post on Instagram, that's where I'm most active. It's Rhyme Lolly at there, I'll leave a link. I also have another YouTube channel with my girlfriend where we post cosplay videos called Ex Animo Cosplay. I'll also leave a link to that, and to Couple Squirrel, my good old friends. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the future. Ugh, why does it always feel so weird to end a video? I hate ending a video. Uh, thanks for watching.